first one we're going to be checking out is Guns of Fury. So let's actually, I still have my stream starting soon thing up. So let's get rid of that. Guns of Fury is a retro inspired action platformer that combines the run and gun and Metroidvania genres. Explore a vast interconnected world, gain new abilities and weapons, battle epic bosses, and stop the plans of an evil corporation before it's too late. This is developed and published by Gelato Games. It's going to be released sometime this year. There's no specific date. It just says 2024. There, uh, they do have previous games. One of them, which is one that I know about, is Goblin Sword, which was released for Nintendo Switch. So Guns of Fury will be released on Steam, so available on PC and Nintendo Switch as well. So why don't we slip on over to that, and we will have a look and a listen. If you're getting Metal Slug vibes, so was I. <laughs> Big ass map. Jesus. So it did say destructible environments. Hmm. There's a mech. This reminds me of the ride armor from the Mega Man X series. Oh, it's Dr. Octavius. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's it. Let's... Hmm. Let's have a look a little bit further here. So there are some destructible environments, but I'm wondering how you're going to be able to identify them, because I want to go back a little bit here, because he did destroy a section of wall. But is there a way of identifying? Well, it did look like there was a little bit of damage. So yeah, okay, that's it's hard to see. But you can see how this section of wall is a little bit uh, discolored. Hmm. So that's how we could punch through walls and maybe find some secrets because there was a secret area later on in the trailer and we have different different types of enemies with different projectile types this handgun dude here and sniper rifles this big ass tank now this is that was a boss so that's not a regular enemy uh, that's a that's one thing i was wondering when i was looking at this trailer before was the the i keep wanting to call it ride armor but the game says it's a mech is are you going to be able to purchase these are you going to be able to just find them in the level situationally or is there some other way of summoning these maybe like an airdrop but this looks like it's underground so i don't think this is that you're going to be able to get these by airdrop or do you have to destroy an enemy to get i don't know i don't know we'll see unfortunately there's no demo for this game because i'd be all over it if there was so some of the environments are destructible Look at this chunker. Holy crap. How are you going to beat this guy? Wow. That is just huge. That's even bigger than Mega Man X3 Sigma. This takes up, like, look at this. This takes up half the screen. <laughs> I do like the backgrounds, though. The backgrounds look really nice. And again, there's a destructible environment here. There's a destructible wall, but here you can't really tell. So I guess a lot of it's just going to come down to trial and error. Unless the map gives away some, some hints. So hang on a second. I want to have a look at the different types of weapons here. So there is ammo. You can see in, well, when we get back to the screen, you can see in the top left hand corner, there's a health bar and there's an ammo bar, I think. But does that apply for all weapons or do you have like a, because with a lot of these games, you'll have like a base weapon. So it could be this, your handgun, your Merlin, whatever it is, which has unlimited ammo. And then everything else that you pick up afterwards only has a limited amount. Hmm. 130 grenades? That's a lot. So we also have, I wonder if this is an accessory, the silver cross, if that enhances either the damage you take or receive or gives you some special abilities or whatnot. Hmm. These are all the things I'm wondering when I'm looking at a trailer. Bolt gun. Oof. 
Pyrogun flame shot. How's that different from the pyrogun, I wonder? Burst rifle, pulse rifle, ice gun, which we saw a little bit of that, and a phaser. I wonder if there's more. So there's the ice gun, looks like. And we got a double jump, and we have melee weapons as well. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a merchant. So we've got, I'm guessing, grenade launcher. Oh, different ammo types. So we have armor piercer. I wonder what else we've got. A stealth outfit. Stealth outfit? How is that going to work in a game like this? Hmm. And of course, coffee. I think every game should include coffee. <laughs> so, okay, so we have... So we can upgrade our stock weapons too. I'm assuming that we have like, I'm assuming that you have a weapon that is just like your stock weapon that you start with that, well, your old faithful. Uh huh. Hmm. This looks like it'd be an interesting boss fight where you're going to have to basically do some platforming at the same time that you're fighting the boss. I like that. That looks challenging. And it looks like the Enemies also have their own types of mechs, too. This looks like a, like a shrunken down AT-AT. That was a wreck. Okay, so we've got our dodge roll. This Doc Ock guy, is this, oh, this is a boss, okay. But you have eight direction aiming, it looks like, so that shouldn't be too difficult. All right, yeah. Oh, it looks pretty cool to me. I'm going to let this roll. I'm going to read a little bit more about it. In the near future, the world is in an energy crisis. The near future. <laughs> when all hope has been lost, world-famous scientist Dr. Klaus makes a surprise announcement. The discovery of the Tesla coil. I mean, sorry, it says Tetracell. Its incredible energy-producing properties could be used for the good of mankind. However, 24 hours later, he mysteriously disappears and his lab is destroyed in an explosion. Oh, no. The industrialist Thomas Edison... Sorry, A. Easton, president of Easton Industries, is suspected to have kidnapped Dr. Klaus and that he intends to use the Tetracell to create a new type of super weapon. You assume the role of Vincent Fury, a special operative on a mission to infiltrate the top secret research facility of Easton Industries, rescue Dr. Klaus, and recover the missing Tetracell before it's too late. Explore a huge world as you face the private army of evil industrialist A. Easton and his gang of top executives. <laughs> okay. As you advance through the game, you will discover new items and abilities, as well as gain money to purchase new equipment from merchants, which will help you access new areas and battle more powerful enemies, including fearsome bosses. And we've seen a few, and they actually look really neat, too, both in what I, their potential capabilities might be, but also their design, too. I like that Doc Ock guy. Exhilarating run and gun action, beautiful handcrafted 16 bit pixel art, and I do agree with that, yeah. Hundreds of unique items to discover, including guns, melee weapons, bombs, and accessories, 10 plus bosses, and tons of enemy types. Acquire new abilities in an authentic Metroidvania experience. Take control of a variety of different mechs, each with its own array of attacks and abilities. Discover secrets in breakable walls and acquire loot and powerful new equipment. Destructible environments. We've seen a little bit of that. Alternate endings. Alternate endings. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like that's kind of ambitious for a game like this. These types of... And it, that's not an insult. What I mean is these types of games are usually not very, not very thick on story. It's just you shoot the bad guys in order, beat the bosses, and then you move on until you get to the ultimate bad guy. You shoot him, game is over. Having an alternate ending... I, I'm very curious about that. An incredible soundtrack by Dominic Ninmark. The system requirements for this, I'm going to classify this as potato, as in it'll run on a potato. You don't need a super... Like, uh, okay, let me give you an idea of what the system requirements are, the minimum ones. An Intel Core 2 Duo E8400. And if you don't know anything about computers, that is a really, really old processor. Two gigs of RAM. You probably have at least two gigs of RAM in your phone. Graphics card, GeForce 9600 GT or Radeon HD 3870. Again, you're getting the idea here. This isn't going to require a hell of a lot of processing power to play. So it's accessible for damn near anybody, which is always good. I, I like that. Anywho. Yeah, this one looks great. Uh, let's move on to the next one.
which is Icebound.